Okay, this is the final video of the RSI Telegram Alerts um, project that we've been creating. Um, if you're new to this video, look at the links at the bottom of this YouTube channel and you should see some um, links that go to the actual course. If you watch to the end of the video, I'll actually also show you how to get access to this course. But um, what I'm going to show you today is how to only send a signal alert every time an event happens uh, on the indicator. If you remember last time that we were discussing this indicator, um, it's the RSI indicator. You can see the green line here. We were going to send an alert every time the line went above 60 or below 40. These values can be configurable to 30 and um, uh, 30 and 40 or any value you want, really. Um, but what we're going to do. Um, so if you remember last time I was discussing the code that we've implemented here, um, that if the RSI value goes below the lower level, send a telegram alert. And what I mentioned last time was that because this calculate method gets called multiple times in a minute or a second, you could have, you know, hundreds of telegram alerts being sent. So if you were to run this code as it is, um, every time that you would get a trade alert when it was overbought or oversold on the RSI, you'd get many alerts. So what I'm going to show you is a simple little pattern um, so that you only get one alert any time the RSI line goes above the 60 or below the 40, whichever value you choose, really, the upper and lower threshold. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to the code window, right click, edit in Visual Studio. We're going to edit this in Visual Studio as we did in the last video. Um, so this is the preferred way that we, you know, we feel our um, well, feel people should be really using because it's much easier to use. Okay, this is start up now. Once it's fired up, um, if you remember last time we put this block of code in just to send a test telegram alert when the um, indicator is first loaded. You can remove this or comment it out, but we put it there just to make sure that you test your telegram alerts are working. Okay, so we guess let's get on with it. So what we're going to do is implement a small pattern um, so that it'll only ever send one alert. Okay, the most basic and easiest way to do it. Um, I'm sure there's other ways to do it. So what I'm going to do is declare two two um, private variables, okay, up here that can be accessed any with any of the methods. So it's kind of global. So these are the variables we're going to choose, which is buy signal and sell sell signals. We're just using gets and sets, so it means you can get set the value or get the value. We described this property in detail in the first video. Um, so just copy and paste this code or write this code out. Um, and then that's the first thing you do. The next thing you want to do um, is actually put this piece of code in here. So what you want to do is in here, what I'm going to do is say, if the RSI.result.lastValue value is less than the lower level, this is going to be a um, buy signal. But the buy flag that we're using, so these are like flags. They can be set true or false. We want to say double ampersand, which is an uh, and not by signal okay so we're going to say if that's false so when you first start your indicator these are declared as false by standard so they'd be false so when this first starts it's going to be false so as soon as that um, alert happens it becomes true what we want to do then is put this small piece of code below the alert that's been sent to say the buy signal is true it's now been set to true We've had a, a, an event that's happened. Um, the RSI value has gone below the lower threshold. We've, we've sent a um, buy signal or oversold signal to on a telegram message. So we want to set it to true. But at the same time, we want to set the sell signal to false. So there's two flags and they both go true or false depending on which way it will work. I'll go through this in detail how the code works um, in a minute. I just finished the code in. Now for this one, it's the opposite. And not so apostrophe is a not sell signal you can also put sell signal equals equals false you if you want and that's a shortcut way of doing it it's just to say not um apostrophe by so that means not by signal okay not sell signal so again when we do this we want to do the opposite we want to say the buy signal is now false and the sell signal is true so i'll step through the code that's all you do i'll step through the code and i'll explain how it will work so when the indicator first loads or first starts, it declares these two variables, buy signal and sell signal, both to be false. As it goes through the on calculate, um, as soon as the RSI line goes above the upper threshold or below the lower threshold, these are the two events that trigger a signal. OK, when it's oversold or overbought, when either one of those happens, um, it will actually fall into one of these blocks of code, either that one or that one. OK, if it's. Um, the lower threshold, which would be a buy signal, 
it will first send a telegram message to say it's been oversold or you could just say it's a buy signal and it'll also set the buy flag to true that means next time it calls this on calculate if the green line is still below the 40 so in the oversold range when it comes down in here it will check is this variable false no it's not we set it to true so it will ignore it and it will keep ignoring it until it gets to the next signal which is when it goes above the upper threshold so as it goes above the upper threshold that would be a signal for sell when that happens so the last value is above the higher threshold it will check the sell signal is it false yes because we've not even set it to true yet it will then come down here send a message to say a telegram message to say it's been overbought <clears throat> okay and then it's going to say sell signal equals true so again if it calls this calculate method and it keeps looping it's already true so it's not going to send a message here because it's already been set to true it's not false but the buy signal is false so as soon as the um, last value drops again below the lower level it will trigger the buy signal so this little pattern here will um, allow you to only send an alert when the green line goes above it can stay above as long as it wants nothing will happen until the green line drops below the lower threshold it will send the opposite alert nothing will happen while it's below and then it will go all the way back up and it will send a signal when it goes back up again so that way it allows you to only send one signal per event so this um, little coding pattern is very basic and simple I'm sure there's many other ways of doing it but this is one of the most simple uh, methods for you to understand you can apply this to any kind of indicator logic that's sending a signal um, so the whole project in general has taught you how to one um, add the indicator to the chart very basic way of putting it to the chart it's also taught you secondly how to in integrate how to load uh, we're using NuGet package manager and how to send telegram using this block of code very simple two lines of code to send a telegram message and it's also taught you how to um, only send an alert per event so you don't get multiple alerts so it's a very basic sort of um, indicator but it also is very useful for you because it allows you to actually integrate telegram alerts into any of the ctrader indicators so as i showed you in the other videos you can easily change the actual name of the indicator to any one of these macd or any of them and you can apply the same logic that i'm using here with some minor changes to get telegram alerts so there you go you've now got telegram alerts pretty much all of the ctrader indicators um, also um, at the end of this video um, i'm going to put a little um, thing if you're not used to who we are there'll be a, a little introduction about who we are and you know, our products and that but again we have got a ctrader.info forum so if you are stuck and you need help with coding go to the forum go to the CR, um, go to the um, cbot or algorithmic school whatever it's called you'll find it on there and actually ask questions on the forum so if you are stuck don't post on um, youtube um, we don't really monitor it and you won't get replies and it's not a good platform for replying for coding questions so if you do need coding help please go to the ctrader.info web, uh, website forum and post your questions there okay so that's the video it's all finished um, if you do like the video please give me a thumbs up thank you very much Okay, if you're new to ClickAlgo and this um, video that you're just watching is unfamiliar and you haven't followed all the other trading courses uh, or watched all the other videos, I'm just going to quickly show you where to get access to the um, course material so you can actually start from scratch. It's a free course that we offer at ClickAlgo.com. You can just come and visit us here at the top, uh, top of the page. We've got ClickAlgo.com. Type it in your search engine. Easy to find us. Also at the bottom of the YouTube channel, you can just click on links. If you go under education and go algorithm, free algorithmic trading course if you scroll down um, beginner level this is the course that we're doing now project one if you click on start a uh, full course it'll take you to another website called ctrader.info and in ctrader.info um, this is the link's going to be added to this one um, you'll be able to get access to all the course material so if you scroll down it'll give you a bit more information course content it covers the course um, in more detail there's another video showing you there i won't go into that one right now it goes into more detail about the course content define your settings and this one is how to code uh, telegram alerts if i go to this link up here algo school in here um, you really want to go down and, and read these following links cover all of them but the one that you want to look at most um, is how to download and install ctrader how to download and install microsoft visual studio um, ctrader automate overview an indicator a basic indicator walkthrough um, and again you've got i think the requirements here if i click on here um, you want to 
make sure that you've got all these requirements covered before you actually start the course. OK, so that's it. I just want to quickly show you that just in case you um, just started um, this course and you're totally unfamiliar with what it's all about and who we are. Um, again, if I go back to uh, our website, we sell trading software for the Seed Trader trading platform. We've also got a programming service. So if you wanted to use us to write your own code, um, you can do that. And we've got a lot of educational material to help you get started. Thank you.